Let me ask about something you wrote about this week, Middlebury College, because I am so worried about liberalism. I mean, it's one thing, it's so easy for us all to be united, because obviously Trump is the ultimate villain. I mean, it, it's Rocky III. He's got Mr. T to fight. Uh, I worry that liberalism is at a perilous point. And I know you write about this, and you wrote about Middlebury College. If you're not aware what happened, was Charles Murray, who's been a guest on this show, I don't agree with him, liberals don't. Um, I think what he talks about, although he claims to be a social scientist, he does research, is, is thinly veiled racism. But there is a way to fight that, and that is to debate him, to bring up points that you can actually look up in books. What you, That's what, not what we saw at Middlebury. Show the tape. This is, and this is, this could be any college, by the way, when a speaker is invited, and this is what happens. Yeah, that's, that's the free speech yeah, of and the it, left. It leads to this big climax of shut it down, shut it down. And afterwards, it's a mob actually attacked physically. their car and, yeah. uh, and, and, the, and the female professor had, her, had, is, had suffered a concussion. This is, this is not an argument. This is a religion, Bill. This is, this is a kind of secular religion. You, you have to believe. If you're on campus, you have to believe certain things. Or you are a heretic. What you saw here was the burning of a heretic. They don't want to hear other ideas because it will upset them, will hurt their feelings. The point of a university uh, is to make you uncomfortable, is to show you ideas that are going to actually offend and make your life a little more difficult. And so you could figure out the answer to yeah. them. Yeah, I... I <laughs> it, outrageous and indefensible on every level, the university, any college, the people who can be identified who physically prevent someone from speaking should be disciplined, including expulsion, and there ought to be criminal prosecution of those thugs who physically attack them. The only thing I would differ with is I don't think this represents liberalism. This is a small group of, of, of younger people. Um, right. I, this is, I, this, is, this is campus. Excuse burning. me, let me finish. And it's because, also the millennials in general. No, but you're not... But, Bill didn't say millennials. He said liberalism. I reject that as a description of most liberals. I think most liberals were unhappy with that, opposed to it, and critical of it. I, yes, it was outrageous. Well, it's a fight that liberals are having. There, there, there is a division. But there's a, it's a very small group. I agree, some younger people. By the way, I've spent a lot of time on campuses. I have this new gig where they pay me to go and talk to students. I like it. Um, <laughs> and I have not found... The problem is... A, because they like people, you. They get, yeah, but they get intimidated. So you don't have a problem on campus. No, but I differ with them on some stuff. But they, I find they, there is an intimidation factor. I do not think... I'm willing to bet that if you, if you polled the students at Middlebury, a majority would not have agreed and with it, that. But it's also the faculty, Bill. It's, it's the, the faculty, faculty yeah, exactly. that are actually fermenting this stuff, yes. teaching this stuff, indoctrinating people. And the people. parents. There is something very wrong with the parents and the way they raise their little fucking brats. It, that <laughs> is the problem. <laughs> Because, because, because let, let me, can I? But I, can I, I want to just throw in one thing, by the I, way. And clearly, they, it was outrageous and a violation of civil liberties, and it ought to be repudiated. But I also, I'm not prepared to take the answer. Oh well, but you know, they feel so strongly. Don't you understand that? Yeah. Well, if they felt so strongly, they should do something about it in effective ways. I'm willing to bet you, that a lot of those people who were doing that outrageous suppression of free speech sat out the last presidential election. Right. So I particularly resent it when people who were not there when I was trying to make a hard fight to stop what we're now dealing with now tell me that, oh, well, they got to resort to these kind of and measures. And you look okay. at students Sorry. who are claiming that the Yale leadership is white supremacy when you actually have a white supremacist running for president. Right. And they were not even interested in it whatsoever. No, I because mean, they much rather attack other liberals than conservatives. Liber